Hi everyone, so welcome to my second online hula dance exercise tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed my first online tutorial. Thank you so much for all your amazing messages and comments and really supporting me um, with this, okay? So today we are going to be doing uh, this tutorial in my bedroom. I, um, I don't always hula hoop outside. I firmly believe if you can find a space in your home environment to do the hula hoop without hitting anything, um, then you can learn my hula dance exercise basic steps um, anywhere. If you do hit your hula hoop on anything, you might end up with something like this. I have completely battered one of my other hoops when I lived in Wales, so yes. Um, right, so referring back to the first online tutorial that I posted, I talked about engaging your core and building that connection with you and the hula hoop. Then I talked about how I place my right leg in front. Those of you might feel more comfortable placing your left leg in front. Depends which way you throw the hula hoop. Again, what works for me might also be different to you. So please share your comments back with me on that, okay? So what we are going to do next, we talked about the posture of your legs, how they should be slightly relaxed, and the back and forth range of movement. So if I throw the hoop, this is what the um, aim that we want to achieve, okay? So the next process that I want us to achieve is um, because we're allowing our transfer of weight, I want you to push off the front foot and come back to the center, okay? So you're going to go from here and push up and come back, okay? So you're here and then come back, okay? So you're gonna go over here and then you're gonna come back. So that is the next step. So the first step I want you to feel confident with is whichever leg you have in front, okay? Second step, throw it, step back, okay? Then the third process um, that I really want you to achieve is allowing to just step in and out with the hula hoop, okay? So you step in, step out, step in, step out, okay? And we're building up that strength with the hula hoop. I'm going to do it now on the left leg because even though I said whichever leg you feel more confident having in front, you still need to practice switching your legs so that you build up the strength on both legs, okay? So now I'm gonna do it on the opposite side, ensuring I don't hit anything in my room, okay? So we start here, step in, step out, step in, step out, okay? Another thing, if you recognize with my arms, I always keep my arms up just for, this, for the time being, or even like this, whichever feels comfortable. But just make sure you always keep your arms up, okay? You don't want to be hula hooping and keeping your arms up like this. I just find this allows you to keep engaged with your core and keep focused. You've got nothing too much going on, okay? So that is what I want you to focus on for the next stage. So let's go back to the beginning, just to reflect and just to confirm what we are going to do, okay? So start with whichever leg you feel comfortable in front. Throw the hula hoop back and forth, back and forth. Then when you feel confident to step in, okay? Even if you're only able to throw the hula hoop a couple of times, just try and step in. You want to push off the front leg and come back in. And again, push in, okay? Then you're gonna move on to the step-by-step -step process. Step in, step out, step in, step out, okay? These are really important moves for you to be able to build the confidence up to achieve because this is the first process in traveling with the hula hoop. So you can't jump to certain steps. It's all about learning the basic techniques and learning what you can do next and what you do, you're struggling to do next. So I'd really appreciate it if you could leave your comments and messages. Um, I'm shortly going to do a um, story uh, where you can message me and please ask me any questions because I'll do a video on there. Oh, nearly tripped over the hoop. And um, so you can ask me any questions and I will do a video um, answering all your questions. And if you are on YouTube, uh, please subscribe to me. I would really appreciate that and you can email me at hula.dancercise at hotmail.com for YouTubers and I will then post the same video on my Instagram and YouTube 
answering everyone's questions. So please, please, please support me and um, yeah, give me your feedback. I really appreciate it and hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you.